Hello everyone, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost your FPS in Warframe. This is be, this video is a long time coming. It, I have tried to make it, I just didn't because I can be bothered. But now I'm making it for you guys who have low end PCs and you can boost your FPS in Warframe. So what you're gonna do is of course go into options and display settings. Now, this is pretty typical, turn everything to low if you possibly can. Now, a couple of things that I would prefer you keep and copy my settings. Uh, display mode, keep it on full screen. Video resolution, now, if you possibly can, keep it at your native resolution. If you are really having bad FPS, like really, really atrociously bad, lower it down. Now, if you have a 1080p monitor, the three best resolutions are 1920 uh, by uh, 1080 then 6 uh, 1600 times 900 and 1280 by 720 uh, those three resolutions are the three best resolutions to use uh, on a 1080p monitor because they scale with your monitor as well so you're not gonna lose or have any really bad quality change uh, refresh rate keep it at 60 or 144 or 120 but depending on what your monitor is aspect ratio keep it at auto Vertical sync definitely off. Max frame rate no limit. Brightness, uh, contrast, and field of view are all personal preferences. Now I know, for example, in some games when you turn up field of view, your FPS gets lower because uh, your process and your RAM needs to work much harder to load more stuff. I don't think it makes a bigger impact in Warframe, so I would prefer you uh, use your own personal preference. Uh, and now everything to off. So set this to custom and just turn everything off. Now I'm not going to because I don't need to. My FPS is from 90 to 80 so uh, I don't I don't really need to do that but uh, some things I turned off like NVIDIA physics, FX, local reflections, runtime desolation, some stuff. Actually I'm gonna turn this on because I like that. Uh, but nonetheless is disable everything. Uh, this dynamic resolution is again disabled. Uh, geometry detail, particle system quality, shadow quality texture and so on and so forth. We'll go turn that to low or minimal or depending on what setting is yeah, low is gonna be the lowest quality turn everything off now try linear filtering I think is not gonna have a bigger impact to your FPS if you keep it on default if you keep it on default it might actually even improve your FPS by just a tiny little smidge but uh, I would prefer you you know test it out on uh, this little setting right here and depth of field, turn it off. Everything here, I would prefer you turn off. Uh, just on needless effects that you do not need if you oh, have a low-end PC. Moving on to interface. Uh, one thing that you can change here is one thing I really do like, and I personally wouldn't like to change, but uh, damage and affinity numbers you can turn off. So, uh, you know, it might, you know, boost the FPS a little bit. But the thing is, uh, you're not going to see your numbers, damage numbers, and you're not going to see affinity numbers. So, I would prefer you keep that on. It's the FPS boost is not worth the uh, loss in uh, that. Gore enabled. Now, uh, in gameplay, you can uh, turn off gore. And, yeah, it is going to give you a slight increase because, as you know, in Warframe, there's just a bunch of blood when you kill enemies. So, this will increase your FPS uh, a tiny bit. So that is mostly it, as I said, turn everything to low in display settings interface, you can turn off damage and affinity numbers, and in gameplay, go, you can turn gore off. Click uh, save changes and click yes. Now, uh, that has been in-game, we're gonna move on outside of the game and go into the launcher, steam settings and everything else, so you can boost your FPS even more. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, now we moved away from the game, we're gonna go in to Steam, this is going to be our first thing, we're going to go into Warframe right here, right click, properties, local files and browse local files. Now in the browse local files and in the Warframe folder you're going to have two uh, exes, warframe.exe and warframe.x64. Now what you're going to do is right click on them, go to properties, go to compatibility and click and select override high DPI scaling behavior scaling performed by application. Now what this does is, actually it doesn't uh, allow mouse acceleration and it does improve your FPS by a bit. Now and of course check disable full screen optimization, click OK, do the same thing for the x64 uh, version of this. As you see right here, override the uh, high DPI scaling and disable full screen optimization. Okay, now we're going to move on to the actual launcher, start of Warframe, go to the launcher. What you're going to do is click this little uh, cog wheel right there and what you're going to do is select everything 
uh, just select everything. Uh, now, if you do have a lower end system, disable 64 bit and disable DirectX, uh, DirectX 11 and 10. Uh, now, if your PC can handle DirectX, uh, DirectX 10, use it. I would prefer you can. Uh, but if, it, if you want to get all of the FPS, which is the highest FPS you possibly can in Warframe, click uh, deselected. Now, that's it for the launcher. Now, we're going to go on to some Windows settings that are going to help you and increase your FPS uh, bit by bit. Now, I already did a full of Windows 10 optimization video, so I'm not going to go into detail about this. But we're going to do some basics. So, go into System, Power and Sleep, get additional power options and set uh, high performance right there. Next thing is going to be is going to go to this PC. Right click on this PC properties, go to advanced system settings, and go right here and click settings where it says performance. Select the custom and enable peak. Uh, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges on screen fonts. Now smooth edges on screen fonts you can keep off. I mean it makes your uh, font a little bit uh, prettier, but nonetheless you don't really need it. Uh, we're going to move on to the advanced tab. Uh, we're gonna go into uh, just best performance for programs, which is pretty, you know. Um, and then we're gonna go with data execution prevention. We're gonna uh, select the first one, which is for essential Windows programs and services only. Click apply and click OK. Click OK as well. And now you can go into MS Config. Once you go into MS Config, what you're gonna do is select the boot menu, go Put the timeout to 3 seconds, select no GUI boot and go into the advanced options. Select the maximum number of uh, CPU cores that you can, as you can see there's 4 of them. Uh, maximum memory you don't need to tick, you can if you want. Moving on to services, hide all Microsoft services and disable everything that you do not need. Uh, for example, I, already, I only have NVIDIA running in the background, Steam and Easy Anti-Cheat. Click apply and move to the startup. Open Task Manager and disable everything that you do not need. For me, only the essentials. Well, Rain Meter isn't essential, but I like Rain Meter and it makes my desktop look nice. So, uh, my audio drivers and Steam and also Microsoft Defender. So, those two I have. Actually, I'm going to disable that because I don't, <laughs> I don't really need an antivirus. I don't download anything illegally. So, there you go. That's mostly it. Except that. that Exit out of that, click OK, exit it without restart, and then you're going to move on to your temporary folder. You're going to type in the search temp, percent temp, uh, percent temp, percent, yeah, that's how, that's what I said. And delete everything you have in here. If, it, if you can't, just click cancel. I deleted my folder, so everything for me is uh, deleted. I don't have to, you know, concentrate on that. And now, we're going to go into services, and we're going to disable some services that we do not need. Now... A couple of services that I know that you do not need at all. Uh, you do not need DM VAP Push uh, SVC. Go into Properties and click on Disabled. Apply. OK. Uh, fax. You don't really need this enabled if you don't have a fax machine. So apply. OK. Disable it. Now, I'm not going to do all of them, of course. As I said, I do have a video about this. Now, this should be a stop super fetch or something like that. I'm trying to find it here, but I can't. There you go. Super fetch. Uh, we're going to click right click properties and it says automatic. So we're going to disable it. Super fetch is really unneeded. It uh, transfers a lot of files at the same time. And just that's that's really unneeded. Now, disable any Minecraft. Uh, oh, I mean, sorry, Minecraft, any Xbox service that you do not need. So any Xbox service. I would prefer you disable it because I personally don't use Xbox at all. Uh, so I would prefer you disable it. Just if you can, if you can, to leave it. Uh, now, game monitoring, I think, uh, cannot be disabled. Game. Uh, this need, yeah, this needs to stay on. This needs to stay on. And uh, Xbox uh, accessory. accessory yeah, I don't know why I pronounced it like that. Disable that as well. So that's mostly about services. I'm not going to go into the deep end of services but that's mostly gonna be it now another thing that i would prefer you do is download cc cleaner of course cc cleaner is a really really great uh thing to have and uh, use on your uh desktop so analyze just analyze your disk and uh find some issues and files that you do not need so it's gonna i'm just gonna clean my disk right now and there you go now it's all done i'm gonna go here into the registry tab and just scan for issues in the registries now there shouldn't be any because i did it a couple of seconds ago yeah 
what if there is just uh, click fix selected issues and you it will pop up with an option that you if you want you can back those options up if you don't you don't need to and then just fix all the issues now of course uh, if you want you have uh, an uninstall button here now this is really good because you can uninstall apps that you couldn't do before so for example uh, calculator i don't need i mean uh, time and uh, language i don't need that camera i don't need that either it's just i don't have a camera on my uh, feedback hub these all of these uh, things that you do not need and you don't really need at all you can just delete because it's really uh, good mailing calendar i don't need that either maps i don't need that my pc is stationary i cannot move it anywhere and so on and so just delete uh, all these uh, things that you do not need now of course i would prefer you do not delete the microsoft store i mean it would be pretty dumb of you uh, but something like mixed reality view or like why would you need that movies and tv i already have a default uh, video playing device paint 3d you do not need that either people you do not need that photos i'll keep because i do not have any other app for opening wish recorder i already have uh, stuff for that as well now i could delete the microsoft live services but i would prefer you do not do this because you never know when you're gonna need microsoft store well i mean uh, xbox you never know when you might need it and i would prefer you keep it on but uh, well, as i said there's a startup button here you have uh more applications that uh, the store of windows then show you so you have uh, browser plugins as well disk analyzer here as well and all that cool jazz uh here in advanced settings you don't really need to go that's just pretty useless you have a drive wiper as well if you want to wipe some of your drives but i won't prefer you do that then you can close that down and if you want to see more boosts uh you can go to the windows boost and that is mostly it now you can do that boost as well which will even uh give you even more fps than this video but nonetheless that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. I try to make uh, content. I'll say it like that because I'm not going to say weekly. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. This has been the Gaming Weasel over and out.